Hi there and welcome to another episode here on Busternet. Yes, these are the Gloucester City Diaries. We haven't got off to a racing start like we usually do. Uh, and this is the show where I use your tactics, Gloucester City. So it's a bit of a, a slightly different challenge for me, right? I, I don't use my own tactic. It gets boring after a while for you guys, probably. You see the same old tactic being used. And how many ways can you tell an FM story? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, do you want me to sit down here every day and crack jokes? I think I will try i can try but i'm not that good of a comedian and i'll probably do a disservice to all the other comedians and uh, i'll look like a total idiot so i definitely i'm not going to try and crack any jokes um we've had a f fun fun show last season i mean last last few seasons has been really fun you know i've used ghost 3421 i've used the uh, calamities uh tactics as well uh and definitely tim's 4312 now the 4312 that tim created is really the go-to 4312 you really want to use that i think it's a very good version of the 4312 and it's done really well uh if i wanted to play an entire season and put myself on holiday mode i'd probably pick the 4312 that tim created go get myself a good assistant manager go make coffee and come back and win the title that's how good it is okay and here we have banties uh 433 now sometimes the tactics that come in they need a bit of a modification to fit my team now don't get me wrong i'm not saying that the tactics are bad no to fit my team specifically if if you have a tactic that works with your team then great you know it should work but most tactics should work out of the gate but uh, the only adjust if you make adjustments they got to be because of balance because of the players that you have and maybe you want to try something different um here we had a few issues in that match uh, when the opposition changed formation. So the first thing I'm going to do is uh, we 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 know what the our next opposition are going to be playing. The uh, next opposition they are playing a uh, four four two. Yes, they are going to be playing a four four two. And I, for the world of it, I can't find out where the damn thing is. Uh, but you know, we should be able to find it soon enough. Swate is injured. Uh, we won't be able to use that. Here we go, Vittoria de Huimarias, I think that's how you pronounce it. They'll be playing a 442. And the thing about a 442 is it's vulnerable because of the spaces here and here. So it's pretty hard to control that. Now, if a 442, if you've got a very good team that plays a 442, then if they play on structure, they have the ability to stretch you and overload your flanks. And um, if they're playing it on fluid, then they leave themselves vulnerable to balls over the top. So if if you if you play if I were to go in with my tactic set on fluid, then I I could force them into being vulnerable to play balls played on the, over the top. Uh, but it also means that they get more players into transitions. So. It's going to be challenging. Do I play it on structured? If I play it on structured, then my players will usually run into cul-de-sacs, right? You know, but this is what these are two things I'm worried about now. Uh, what are we going to do with his tactic? It's going to be we're going to swap it slightly. You know, we're going to change things slightly. We're going to use a wing back on attack now instead of a full back on attack. We're going to try and get him further up the pitch. This time, I'm going to have a ball winning midfielder over here because I'm using a wing back on attack. So I'm going to lock down this flank. Uh, we have an inside forward and support. We also have a winger going down the right to stretch the play with a with a central midfielder on attack to support him with an F9 dropping lead. So I'm hoping to create some interesting movements uh, on, in that part of the pitch. Uh, here, question is, do I play with Zuniga? who's not bad, but he doesn't have the acceleration, but he definitely does have some intelligence on getting up and coming back down. Uh, Dominguez is relatively young and relatively new. He has an attacking bent on him, but he's not very good at crossing. He's not very good at dribbling. So I'm going to start the game with Zuniga. Schwartek is injured. That's the bad news for us. He's not going to be available. So we have to bring Ian Dury, and I'm thinking of bringing pulling Graham alone into the team. He's a youngster, 18 years old, comes from our academy, and uh, Ju Julian Germano is also available. So who do I bring? <laughs> oh man, I wanted to bring Graham alone, but it's only 85%. So we'll start with uh, Julian Germano. we got Lopez on the right flank. we got Olmedo, Alpa, Kuchika, and Lopez. We'll give uh, Hermano uh, a go on the on this flank. we got Olmedo is a bit more attacking-minded. Um, we did try Lopez in the last game as a deep line playmaker. This side, um, this position, originally was a deep line playmaker on. Um, in you see Banty's tactic here, he's got deep line playmaker on support and a central midfielder on attack. I've just changed those roles slightly by going with a central midfielder on attack with a ball winning midfielder on support. 
Why? If I change this guy to a deep, I want, if I go deep line playmaker on support, um, Mm, that's possible too. We'll just change it around. I just I was having problems with the GUI earlier. I couldn't change their closing down instructions. So here we go. Alpa Kuchika will be playing here. Uh, we will now bring on Cesar Lopez for Alpa Kuchika. All right. So this guy doesn't really tackle very much. So this guy is going to bomb forward. It's a very risky play because uh, this guy doesn't tackle. So with this guy bombing forward, Jackman is going to have to do a lot of work. It's a hugely risky play. But if I wanted to have a bit more security, I will change this role to a bomb enemy if you want support, which is actually the right thing to do. <laughs> this is definitely not the right thing to do. I got Abel Calado. Oh, he's on the bench. We'll just leave him on the bench for now. I got the Reeves, Bothwick Jackson, uh, Jackman, uh, Lopez, Olmedo, Germano. Yes, I wanted to build a team around Olmedo, uh, Colado, but for this match, we're going to gonna try and be a bit optimistic we are at home anyway so we should be able we should be able to be Vittoria who may and who whatever their name is who marries who I can't, don't know how you pronounce the name of the club so let's submit our team Vittoria the Humiares we'll go to our opposition instructions this is gonna be fairly straightforward for us we're gonna tackle them hard and then we'll close down the back line. And here we go. Match is underway. So these guys are from Portugal. Hajek with the ball to Olmedo. You can see my winger is hugging the lines. Lopez to Olmedo. Olmedo. What another thing we're gonna do now is we're gonna actually move it up to control structured. Because I'm trying the structured shape out. If I'm playing too much into the hands of uh, this uh, Portuguese side, we'll just change it to a 4-4-2. All right. I will change it to, sorry, fluid, control fluid. Then I can get more of my players into transitions. Bothwick Jackson plays the ball out to Betinho. Betinho, yes. We want, I want to see that. I want to see them being pulled out of position. Lopez. Lopez to Zé Gomez. Zé Gomez holds the ball up. For Zuniga, Zuniga down the flanks, crosses it. We are pulling them everywhere. Jackman to Lopez, to Almedo. Almedo to Betinho, Betinho out wide to Hajek. Oh, this is good. This is good play. But it hits the post. Yes. This is what I wanted to see. Okay. This is, this, I kind of expected this to happen when I was playing on structured shapes. Yeah. Betinho out wide. He's brought down. It's a foul from Adriano Felix. Into the box, it goes Lopez out wide to Almedo. Almedo down to Zé Gomez, lines up the shot. It's an easy first goal. Now, I'm going to play fluid with this 4-4-2, but they, are, they might be vulnerable to us playing playing on fluid as well. Uh, why, why, do I, why, why do I keep harping on about the shape? Okay. Now, 4 4 2, if it's a good team, they play on structure, they can stretch any team. If they play on fluid, they're vulnerable to balls over the top. Now they're playing defensive 4 4 2. I'm trying to ascertain what kind of shape they're playing. And it looks like they're playing a flexible shape. So I'm going to. I, If they're playing flexible, then they are vulnerable to being pulled apart. Zuniga. So, which is one of the reasons why I'm st sticking to structure. If I go to fluid, I'm, I'm going to be quite curious to see what happens. Zay Gomez. Oh, aye, what an idiot. But the Reeves gets back. Romero. The Reeves to Romero again. All right, we're going to change it now to fluid. Uh, my defensive line will be normal. Uh, okay, here we go. Germano into the box. Al Cavalio plays it back to the keeper under some pressure. Vargas brings the ball away. They've got so many up in support. They have so many of their players up in support. They've got like three players up in support during the counter attack. Uh, this is not good. Al Cavalio. We clear the danger. Corner taken. It's still only 1 0, and we only have one shot on target from that, from that set piece. Alcos, Dragowski. 
Please hear the Hajay. Hajay back to Bothwick Jackson. To Lopez back to Almedo. Almedo to Lopez, now to Hajek. Hajek to Almedo, to Lopez, to Hajek. <laughs> Simple football. Okay, Hajek brings the ball up. Zay Gomez, they got more. And again, notice how quickly, uh, how narrow they are as well. Um, but it, they're, they're fluid. They've got like two banks. they got two rigid banks of four now. Well, Covalho into the wall. I was rather they were flexible, not fluid. My mistake. Fernando Renato to Benitez. Benitez out wide. He goes to Zuniga to Almedo. I I don't get the feeling that we are stretching them anymore. We did earlier. But we keep this. We'll just keep this uh, going at the moment. Jackman to Almedo. See, by the time we get the ball into their half, they'll have fallen back into defense. Jackman to Almedo to Lopez. So you can see they're all back defending now. Almedo plays it to Lopez. To Almedo now. To Betinho. Out wide to Hajek. Back to Betinho. Ah, this goes up for a corner. Nobrega to Cadao. Cadao. It gets red from Jackman to Lopez. Lopez back to Almedo. Almedo to Betinho. Plays it to Zego Man. Zego Man shoots. Ah, okay. We, we, we are ending, we kind of like, by playing on fluid, we just made things a lot easier for their 4-4-2. <laughs> okay. So I'm definitely going to be changing back to structured. Because while it takes, uh, while it's great, you know, we get all these players up in support. By the time we get into their half, they're all like going, oh, it took your boys a long time to get here. So Vargas with the ball. Oh, one thing I'm going to... Yeah, I can't even remove that. Sh I, I, had, I thought I was using, using the play of the defense shot, but I'm not. Vargas, back to Fernando, Renato, Tohau, Cavalio, and we're going to change it back to structured. And I'm going to push the defensive line up. Good defending from the boys. The breakdown, the attack, Romero to Botwick, Jackson to Heymans. Heyman to Romero, Romero to Alcore, Alcore shoots. Or oh, Cose, or whatever your name is. Oh, we almost conceded a goal there. Corner. Bothwick Jackson clears the danger. Heyman's. Heyman. He goes wide. Oh, Betinho wins that. It's a counter now, but Betinho couldn't do much. And wins the ball back. But Germano went out with a free kick. Oh, it's a second goal. <laughs> yes. Yes, we should be playing on structure, I guess. But it's a set-piece goal. It's not like as if we broke them apart by some neat play. But sometimes, the thing about this game is this. Okay, the, 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 whole, the whole game, the, the logic in the game is like in a small little black box. We, we, can't, really, we can't really see because whenever, it kind of like makes a decision on what's going to happen. So we make all these changes and those are computed inside there. So sometimes a slight change you make could have profound effects on the result of your game. So, yeah, I guess uh, that slight change gave us a goal. Hajek plays it to Almedo. Now it's so much more different. I get a feeling now we're stretching. Now we're stretching them up. Hajek to Almedo, plays it out to Betinho. Oh yes, this is definitely what I wanted to see. Playing on structure, we have stretched them. And Germano, what a hitter day. This is different. Yes, no fluid for us. Thank you very much. We're playing a lot better now. Okay. Can I... Th should I bring on Ian Dury, the youngster? Yes, we shall. We give him a chance. Give him some uh, senior time now. Hajek. Back to Bothwick Jackson. Now to Olmedo. Plays it out to Zay Gomez. Zay Gomez holds the ball up. Gets it out to Hermano. Plays it to Zuniga. Zuniga to Olmedo. We are certainly stretching them. And what a shot from Zay Gomez. Okay, this is so... It feels better now. No more Mickey Mouse shit <laughs> building play-up. So, yeah, because uh, they're playing a 4-4-2. Uh, if if it's, they're playing defensively, then it's good to stretch them. So, stretching them would mean, yeah, playing it on structured. Because then your players have a higher mentality. They're, they're going to be pushing out a bit more. Yeah, why not? Definitely. Yes, goes into my little book for FM18. <laughs> for my guide on FM18, which I'm going to be working on very, very hard at work. Yes. Third goal. 
their strategy worked. And we are three goals up against Vittorio de Humiares. It's a good thing I don't have a job as a football commentator. But then again, those guys, they get paid money. They got they got nice money. They can always check, you know, um, how to pronounce the names. In fact, they do. They expect it to. Raul Covalho, out to Fernando Renato. Oh, they've changed to a defensive 4-2-2 DM narrow. Ooh. This system, uh, we stay on structure. In fact, we go highly structured now. They're not going to like it. They're not going to like playing highly structured. Betinho. Uh, goes out, crosses it. We get a corner. They will definitely not like being play being played. This is fun. Zuniga, and a header from the Reeves. Hermano goes backwards. He goes, boss. What am I gonna do with this ball? I don't know. You're the player, Lopez. Out wide to Hermano. Oh, you beautiful thing you. Okay, let's bring on a substitution. Okay, Zay Gomez, you've had a good game. Let's give Dury a chance to play. All right, let's go. Okay, Dury is now going to come on for her, Zay Gomez. Get off the pitch. We want to see how this youngster does as an F9. Benitez to... Oh, Heymans. Heymans gets the, the ball, but Dragowski wins that. The thing... The, why did I go... Why have I gone even more structured? The 4-2-2 DM narrow. Very simple system. It needs to be played on flexible. Minimum, okay, minimum rating, fixable. The thing is, it has to get a few players up in transitions. Now, what do I do? I play a shape that is not suited to. I, it's like you don't play. I'm playing my own game. Um, it's you, and he's not gonna like it, right? So I'm playing a game where it's it's not gonna enjoy the shape that we use. So I'm playing my own game, man. We're gonna suffer now. Yes, let's score a few more goals, boys. You look at that. Oh, yes, Germano, um wished it. But the thing about playing on structured, highly structured shapes is your players better be good. Hey, man, hey, man, hey, man, hey, man. I feel like singing a song when I see that. It's like, hey, man. <laughs> what a name. That's so cool, man. My name is Hey, man. Just call me Hey, man. It's better than me. Call me Sing. There are so many things in the world. Yeah. It's like everywhere. It's like we have the most boring surname in the, on the whole planet. The guys are called Singh and the girls are called Ko. She is, the number of times I've gone to an airport where they go like, do you know I'm on a short list for, when I go to the US every time, I get I get pulled into the terrorist room. I, mean, what I, I call it a terrorist room anyway. It's like the, the, the guy always like pulls you out and says, okay, fine, ask you 2,500 questions as to why you're there. And the only reason why they do that is because there are like 3,000 Daljit Singhs in the world and probably half of them are illegal immigrants running to the US. So it doesn't matter if I've got a letter that states uh, I'm going for a conference in the US. No, as long as my name is Daljit Singh. That's it. Yep, I'm in trouble. So we are definitely as yeah very boring people. 89, oh yes, one minute left in the game. We're going to win this match. Gloucester has beaten Vittorio de Humiares quite comfortably. We've been shaping them out of shape. They couldn't handle the changes we made. I was like, all our goals were from Seth Peters, yes. But that there was a different flow in the game, if you notice. When I was playing on fluid and when I was not playing on fluid, right? So when I started changing shape, the way we were moving the ball about the pitch, it all changed. And I enjoyed it thoroughly. So it was really a very fun experience. And uh, Gloucester City comfortably beating Vittorio Humiares. We drew one of our matches in this group, I think, earlier. It was pretty disappointing because uh, I was pretty upset. Uh, I think it was against Feyenoord or Leverkusen. One of those two. It has to be against Feyenoord or Leverkusen. And no other teams in the group. What an idiot I'm turning out to be. But we won this match. I'm going to use this tactic for another game again because uh, I need to play for a few matches before I go like, oh, this is not too bad. Our next match is going to be against Leicester away uh, in the Premier League. And I hope you can join me for that show. If you have any questions, please look me up on Twitter at Bustanet or addicted to fm.com, my website. Once again, I'd like to thank all my patrons for the continued support of this channel. If you want to send in your tactics, please do so. I always love all these tactics. The more bizarre they are, the more fun I'll have. You can always upload those tactics to Sandspace and Dropbox. Drop me a link below in the description and, you know... Uh, 
I'll try and get back to you on the tactic. Now, if I if some of your tactics gets, I have a little spreadsheet where I draw all the tactics in. Now, if I have forgotten, please remind me. I have a few more tactics coming up in the next show. So you guys take care, have have fun, and I'll see you again soon. Bye bye.